For determining the density in accordance with Carr, there are two steps involved, one of which is the aerated density and the other is the tap density, or some people refer to it as the pack density. What we're going to do in utilizing the Carr methods and the PTX, we're going to press the icon here on the main menu, and what that does is it opens a page which provides us with a diagram as to how to set the instrument in place. In order to do that, what we first need to do is to set the sieve holding frame in place, then the sieve screen, which is a flow control device, the cup extension, then what we'll do is we'll put a vibratory funnel in place by placing it within the holder, bringing the holder up, clamping that into position. Next, what we'll do is we will insert the stationary holder platform. Set this in place and rotate it clockwise. Now, this is the stationary funnel. We'll have to relocate that, but as you can notice here, it is rather easy to move. Next would be the cup holder. There are three different size cup holders that can be offered with the unit. There's a 25 cc, a 50 cc, as well as a 100 cc. What we're going to do is utilize the 100 cc cup today. Okay, now that everything is set in place, we will advance the software and press the next button by doing so. What occurs now is that the software will communicate directly with the balance. The balance will now need to be teared, and as you can see, once the balance is teared, the display turns blue. We place the 100cc cup in place and press next to take the tear weight of the cup. We're looking at a cup is a defined volume 100cc. Some people may be aware of graduated cylinders which rely on the individual's line of vision to determine how much settling has taken place. In this case here, we're gonna have a defined volume and at that point be able to identify what the density is. So now that we have the weight, we will place the cup in its holder and we will press next. As you can see, it's approximately 149 um, grams and we'll just now we add the material. What's not shown in the software is a method that we've developed here to collect any material that may inadvertently pass through the screen prior to performing the actual test. So we set the tray in place that will capture any material that may prematurely fall through because what you want to do is you want to make certain because this aerated test is not have a stop and start because what that'll do is compress the product. So now what we'll do is we'll add the material and as you can see some of the material is actually fallen through. Now that the cup has been filled with the sample material what we'll do is we will press the next button to advance the software and we will change the amplitude of vibration. Because we're aware that this particular material flows extremely well, what we'll do is we'll reduce this to 0.5 millimeter amplitude, and you can change that if need be to increase the amplitude if for whatever reason the material becomes more, uh, let's say, cohesive during the process. So now what we'll do is to begin it, we will, Press the start button and you will notice now that the material is filling the cup. In this particular case what you want to do is you want to stop the vibration as soon as the cup overflows and in this case here it has stopped. My recommendation is to immediately open the cover and now scrape the cup. There is a unique method in doing so as displayed on the screen. Angular across and angular back. All right, to use this cup extension as a guide before we remove that, what you want to do is you want to angle across and then back. The reason for that is simply because you're lifting whatever excess material is 
on top of the cup away rather than compressing it into the cup. Okay, moving along. Once we've scraped the 100cc cup, we now have the balance that needs to be teared. We press next. And then what we do is we remove the cup. All right. Press that or place that on the balance. And to actually take the weight, we then, all right. So now we have the results of the aerated density test. The aerated uh, density indicates that it has 1.4983 grams per cc density aerated, which in many cases can be repeated if necessary. However, in many cases, like I say, you can just proceed. All right, so now to proceed, what we're going to do is we're going to place the cup extension on the cup. There's no need to refill the, the cup. However, the software will advance to that point because what we're going to do is we're going to tap the sample. Now, there's two ways of filling the cup. By pressing next, it advances. And as you can see, the display, as I had indicated, we put the cup extension on. We'll press next, and it's going to take us to the feeding option. Now, you can either go through the feed as we've gone, or you can manually feed it. Now that the cup is filled, what we're going to do is press start to begin the tapping sequence. And this will tap for the full 180 seconds, or pardon me, not seconds, 180 taps compressing the product within the vessel. The key here is to confirm periodically to make sure that the material is not passing the edge of the stainless steel cup. Because once again, we're working off of a defined volume. This happened to be 100 cc or 100 ml. In the event that the material does drop beneath the cup level, what you should do is open the cover Notice that the tapping stops. Put more material in. Reclose the cover. And begin the tapping again. Tap density, unlike aerated density, can be refilled during the process. Aerated density, you want one time and one time only filling process. So, for demonstration purposes, what we will now do is we will stop this at 100, approximately 120 seconds and proceed as if we were going through the whole 180. So we just press the stop. And as you can see, the software advances, permitting the balance now to be teared. While the balance is being teared, what we will do is remove the cup extension. and scrape the material. Unlike the aerated density, because we've tapped out all the air, what we can do is we can just go vertically down and I happen to you know, saw it across just to give it a nice level. Try not to cavitate the material and then just simply remove the cup from the holder. Make certain that there's no excess material on the sides. Place the cup on the balance. And press next. Now, you could have done that after pressing next, but what we did was we just accelerated the process. In this case here, the density for packed is 1.561. We go to next and we find out what the compressibility is. Compressibility is 4%. So that means that the differential between aerated density and pack density or tap density is 4%. We put 4% more material into that cup. 